Hi guys, while I was in Hawaii I did do a little bit of shopping and thought I'd show you what I got. Hawaii is part of America so a lot of the American brands are available over there but not all of them. I really wanted to buy the Lorac Pro palette but I couldn't find it anywhere after trying to track it down somewhere and making Wesley drive to many different places but it just wasn't happening. I just went to see it in the flesh. Um, there were a few visits to Sephora, to Long's Drugs and to a supermarket, I think we were in Target um, and then also Bath and Body Works. I'll start with the Sephora things and first up I bought a beauty blender. I got a black one because as much as I clean my original pink one which I adore, it just always looks a little bit grubby so I thought the black one would probably have less chance of doing that. Uh, they did have a number of different colours over in America, I have seen them over here as well, but they had many different new beauty blender products that I haven't seen over here. Like they had a little thing that you could use to make eyeliner flicks, they had um, tiny beauty blenders that were different colours that came in a set that were for colour correcting and then each sponge you use for a different colour. Um, so hopefully there's going to be coming out in England soon. And then I also picked up the Beauty Blender cleaner just to try and keep on top with cleaning it because at the moment I use some kind of soapy water and like I say the pink one just doesn't seem to clean properly so I thought maybe with this it would help. Next up are lip products and I bought two of the liquid Everlasting liquid lipsticks from Kat Von D. It's the first time I tried anything from her range. I picked up Bow and Arrow which is what I'm wearing at the moment and I also got Melancholia, which is this pinky colour. Uh, I actually only wanted to get this one, went to ask the sales assistant if they had any more of these because they were sold out on the rail. When I asked her, if you only got what's out there or are you sold out, if it's not there, she said, oh, is it bow and arrow? And then I heard some other people asking for bow and arrow and there was two left, so I picked one up. And then as I was at the till, there were other people asking for bow and arrow and the lady at the till was telling them that they haven't had it in for months. So. Um, I probably would never have gone for this colour because it looks quite kind of toffee-ish, not my kind of colour, but I actually really like it on my lips, I think it's quite natural, very comfortable to wear, I don't feel dry at all, which is a good thing, and then Melancholy are just a nice soft pink. I can also never resist a purplish pink lip, so I picked up one of the Sephora Cream Lip Stains in shade number 12. I have this in a couple of other colours and really like it, really like the formula. They're quite cheap as well for what they are. I also picked up another liquid lipstick, this time from Too Faced, the Melted Matte Lipstick, and this shade is called It's Happening. I really like Too Faced products, this doesn't disappoint either. I really, really like this colour, it's like a hot pink but without being too bright and in your face. It looked really nice with the tan, I was wearing it with just that and eyelash extensions and I think it looked really nice. I think this one's gonna get really well used over summer. I noticed after the first time I wore it though that I definitely need a lip liner with it, so I picked up the Sephora Gel Lip Liner. This one um, kind of is retractable, which is really nice. Nice hot pink color. I thought it can go with a lot that I already have. One of my favorite mascaras is the original Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. So when I saw that it had been released over there in the waterproof version, I had to pick it up. I'm wearing it today. What I love about the original one is it is just so dramatic. I love that you can just keep building it, building it, building it, and your lashes just get fatter and fatter and longer and longer. I like wearing waterproof mascara for if I'm doing any sports or if I'm at the gym. In case I sweat, I still want to have eyelashes. Uh, this one isn't quite as dramatic as the original I found, but my eyelashes are a bit rubbish at the moment anyway after taking off the eyelash extension, so I don't know, I'm going to um, keep using it and see how I feel about it, but still really really nice, just not quite as dramatic as I found the original to be. On the box it says that 97% of people in their tests saw an intense volume and length increase, and 94% of people said that it stayed put all day, so I find those stats to be true for me with the original one, but this is the first day that I've worn the waterproof one so I can't really judge yet. I also picked up an Anastasia Beverly Hills Anastasia, however you want to say it, dip brow in the colour taupe. Uh, this is an eyebrow product that I've used for quite a while but I've always used soft brown which is a nice enough colour for me, it is a good fit but it's just a little bit too warm so it was really nice to be able to see all of the different colours and choose one that actually worked for me and taupe is what I chose which is just a bit cooler. I didn't want anything too dark, 
it's what I'm wearing right now. I think it still looks quite natural. Uh, this last, it's waterproof, I find. I don't know if it actually is meant to be, but I can kind of touch my face and it not come off on my fingers, which happens with other products. Um, some of the Sephora's that I went into didn't stock the whole Anastasia range. They only stocked the brow stuff, which was a bit disappointing because I would have liked to have got some other bits, but everything else that I actually wanted, none of them had. Then from Long's Drugs, they had loads of different drugstore beauty brands and I wish I'd done a bit more research before I went to see what things were good but I just didn't, I didn't really have time, I didn't really fancy doing that while I was over there because I had better things to do. So I didn't bother getting any of the Physicians Formula and CoverGirl and anything like that. There were a few things that caught my eye. Uh, first up, these have been quite heavily used. Um, <laughs> This is the Mane and Tail Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, the reason that I got these is because we needed shampoo and conditioner while we were over there. In England, they sell a small one of these, which I believe is around 300, 350 mils for seven pound, I've seen it in Liberty. This one is triple the size and it works out to be five pounds. Um, the only issue is I wrapped these up in my suitcase to come home and one of them leaked. Uh, next to a red swimsuit which the dye has gone over four of my wet tops uh, that I've had to throw away so it hasn't ended up being quite the bargain that I hoped for. Um, they are horse shampoo and conditioner but you can use them on humans as well. They're meant to create thicker, fuller looking hair. My hair is very thick and full um, but it's meant to make it shiny and manageable and I thought in fact my hair's probably quite like a horse's because it is thick and heavy so I thought I'd give it a go and I quite like it. I also picked up Listerine Pocket Mist, which is like a mint breath spray. Um, as a makeup artist, you always want to be smelling fresh when you're working this close to people. Someone that I've worked with in the past has had these in their kit and really recommended it, I think, after a trip to America. So I thought I'd give it a go as well. Not that I have smelly breath or anything, it's just always nice to be fresh, isn't it? And I drink a lot of coffee, so. Um, then from the supermarket, maybe Target, maybe... Safeway, CVS, I don't know, I can't remember. I picked up the Jergens Natural Glow Firming Daily Moisturizer, da Daily Moisturizer Medium to Tan Skin Tones. And I know I'm not medium to tan, but it's just because I want it to give me that medium tan tan. I read about this a while ago in Allure magazine, which is an American beauty magazine. And I've always been looking for it ever since in boots and I never see it. So when I saw it, I got really excited. Uh, it says that it's an award-winning color and has a great scent as well. I haven't even smelled it yet. And it smells really nice. Like nothing tanny about it. Just a really, really nice, clean, girly but not sweet smell. And then I got the EOS Shaving Cream which brightens an even skin tone with natural shea butter and vitamin B3, nourishes and softens skin. This is pomegranate and raspberry flavour scent <laughs> and gives 24 hour moisture. EOS is really cheap over there so I took advantage and I also Picked up another of their lip balms. I believe this one to be coconut water. It has a nice pink swirly design on the casing, which I hadn't seen before. I wish I'd picked up more of them for gifts, actually. And then some more non-beauty bits. Oh my God, why do we no longer have these in England? I used to love these. If you are too young to know about these, these are the Listerine Fresh Burst Pocket Pack and they are breath strips and you just have this little plastic packet which is very thin one of these um, and you peel the top back and you just get a little sheet of paper which you stick on your tongue which tastes of Listerine which dissolves on your tongue and makes your mouth taste of mint they were like the best thing ever why do we not have these anymore we need these back in England Anyone would think I've got smelly breath or something, the amount of uh, breath stuff I'm buying. But I haven't, I can assure you. Um, I picked up extra bubble, gum flavour and watermelon flavour as well because that's something that I haven't seen over here. Next we went to Bath and Body Works 
and I'm in love with their hand sanitizers. I was working with a makeup artist friend of mine, Michelle Webb, who had one of their hand sanitizers, which are called Pocket Back in her kit, and it was amazing. And ever since then, I've always bought them, but I have to buy them via eBay because you can't buy them in England. And they sometimes have funny names, so you can't smell them, and then they arrive and they're a bit too sweet or a bit too not what you like. So it was nice to just go and have a good old sniff. So the only one that I've started using so far is Girls Just Want To Have Sun, which I can really recommend, lovely smell. The other ones that I got are Dazzling Diamond, which looks really nice. It's clear with like iridescent blue glittery bits in it. A Thousand Wishes, which is red with iridescent <laughs> glittery bits in it. Warm Vanilla Sugar, I've had this one before, really nice, and it literally smells like warm vanilla sugar. This one is Tur Turquoise water, waters, sprinkled donut, which smells like donuts, pink with glitter in as well. Fiji White Sands had this one before, smells like holiday. Watermelon lemonade, champagne sparkle, which is pink and sparkly strawberry vanilla sugar and then I also got a little case which you can kind of put over one of these and have in your dangling from your handbag a lot of people have I wouldn't but maybe dangling inside my handbag so that it's just easy access or somewhere in my makeup kit dangling so it's just a bit easier they have these in all kinds of funky design that was just the cheapest style that they had when we stayed on the big island in Hawaii we stayed in the Hilton Waikoloa village and as soon as you enter the lobby, this amazing smell just hit us. And it was just a really nice kind of watery, holiday -y, sunny, just really lovely smell. And as soon as we walked in, we were like, oh my God, it smells amazing. If you watch my Hawaii vlog, both of us are like, oh my God, what's that smell is so good. And then when we were in Bath and Body Works and we're just having a sniff around at the stuff, we tracked down the smell and it is bergamot waters so we picked up everything that we could that came in that range um, so that our house too could smell of that lovely smell so we got two of the concentrated room sprays we got a candle but only a little one because we were worried about it smashing and also the space in the luggage and weight and everything oh my god it's so good and then we got something that they call a wallflower which is essentially a plug-in air freshener um, that looks